So, for this problem, to write the standard equation and the general equation of the parabola with given vertex and focus, so first, we need to graph this parabola. And for the graph, opens upward, so this is the formula for the standard equation. Then opens downward, formula for the standard equation opens to the right the formula for the standard equation and opens to the left the formula for the standard equation so from this given coordinates for vertex this is x and y so x is negative 5 and y is positive 3 then you connect and this is now the point of the vertex then from the focus so we have x and y so x is positive 3 and y is also positive 3 then connect so this is now the point of the focus then take note that in the parabola focus always inside the parabola so therefore this parabola opens to the right and focus inside the parabola so since opens to the right so this is now the formula for the standard equation for this parabola then to write the standard equation, we need the three values, the K, P, and H. Then in the parabola, H and K is in the vertex of the parabola. Since we have the given vertex, so therefore, this is H and K. Then to solve for P, so that's the distance from the vertex to focus. So to solve now for P, so we're going to use the counting method. So from vertex to focus, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, therefore, P is equal to 8. So, take note that P is always positive. So, we can write now the standard equation for this parabola because we have now the three values. So, substitute to this formula. So, we have Y minus K and K is positive 3. Then equals 4 times P. P is 8, then times X minus H, H is negative 5, then to simplify, so this 4 times 8, this is 32, and for this double negative, so this becomes positive, so this is now the standard equation for this parabola. Then to write the general equation, so we need to expand the standard equation and to expand the square of a binomial using the shortcut method, the SMS. So S is the square of the first term. So the square of Y, this is Y squared. Then M, so multiply these numbers. So we have 2 times negative 3, that's negative 6 times y. So this is negative 6y. Then the last s, the square of the last term. So the square of 3, this is 9. So plus 9 then equals, distribute this 32 to x. So this is 32x and 32 times 5. So we have positive 160, then equate this to 0, so transpose to the other side, so this becomes negative 32x, 
transpose to the other side. So this becomes negative 160, then equal 0. Then combine like terms. So we have y squared minus 32x minus 6y and positive 9, negative 160. This is negative 151 equal 0. So this is now the general equation for this parabola. Then for this given, so we need to graph. So from vertex, so this is x and y. So x is positive 4 and y is negative 2. Then connect. So this is now the point of the vertex. Then from this equation of directrix, y equals positive 5. So this is now the line for the equation of the directrix. Then in the parabola, this equation of directrix, always at the back of the parabola. So therefore, this parabola opens downward. So the directrix at the back of this parabola, then since opens downward, so this is now the standard equation or the formula for the standard equation for this parabola. Then to solve for h, p, and k, so h and k from the vertex, so this is h, and this is k and for p so p is the distance from vertex to direct tracks so to solve for p so again from vertex to direct tracks so we're going to count so we have one two three four five six 7, so P is equal to 7. So to write now the standard equation, so we have X minus H. H is positive 4, then equals negative 4 times P. So we have 7, then times Y minus K. K is negative 2. Then to simplify, so negative 4 times 7, that's negative 28. And for this double negative, so this becomes positive. So this is now the standard equation for this parabola. Then to write the general equation, so we need to expand. So using the SMS, so the square of the first term, this is x squared. Then multiply, so 2 times negative 4, that's negative 8, times x, so negative 8x. Then the square of 4, so plus 16, then equals, so distribute, so this is negative 28y. Negative 28 times 2, that's negative 56, then equate to 0. So this becomes positive 28y transpose positive 56 equals 0. Then combine like terms, so plus 28y and positive 16, positive 56. This is positive 72 equals 0. So this is now the general equation for this. Parabola.